FAU spring game, the first showing of the Owls under the Carl Pelini regime, rather sparse crowd on Saturday. They saw an FAU team that wanted to run the ball. The game started with the first team offense facing the second team defense. Both Graham Wilbert and Stephen Curtis quarterbacked the first team. Curtis led the first teamers to their first points. A Jonathan Wallace seven yard run finished the drive. Al Access has been telling fans that Wallace is having a breakthrough spring. Saturday, everyone saw the walk on in action. The former scout team player and junior college transfer capped a Graham Wilbert led drive with his second score of the evening. This, this is what you live for, just the opportunity to go out on a Division I level and play football. This is my dream growing up, you know, so like I said, I'm just truly blessed to be in this position right now. Some players changed shirt colors at halftime that allowed the first team offense to go against the first team D. Here's the play of the game. It's Wallace again. He goes left. David Hines appears to wrap him up and throw him to the ground. Take a closer look. Did a knee touch? The refs never blew a whistle. Wallace, he kept on running. It turned out to be a 69-yard touchdown. But take a look at this photo shot by Ralph Landau for AllAccess.com. Wallace's knee, it looks to be down. Nice shot, Ralph. The points, they still count. Aside from that run, the Owls' defense was pretty stiff. Tony Moore, he wore number 10 in the second half and recorded a bunch of tackles. That 27 is not a Bartels for the first time in recent memory. It's Winfred Strickland with the interception. Corey Henry broke through for a sack. Easy on the guy in red there, Corey. The Owls' offense spent most of the time running the ball. Graham Wilbert, though, did open the offense up late in the game. He'd find Nixon Dorvillis for a 7-yard score. That was the lone passing TD of the day. The easy ones are always the hardest ones to catch, so like just staring at the ball through the eye, just make sure to concentrate, you know, just control my eyes, get my eyes on the point of the ball and look at him. Wilbert threw for 71 yards. That led all quarterbacks. The relatively low passing numbers didn't bother Coach Carl Pellini. Today was our only, I guess you'd call it, dry run before Wagner. And um, I thought that the most important thing we thought getting out of tonight for our offense, and you know, Graham will speak to it more, was was the execution and the mechanics of running a spread offense. For tonight was less important than the plays that we ran. So we kept it very simple offensively. Just the mechanics of, of signaling from the sidelines, taking the signal, the verbiage on the field, you know, alerting everybody what the play actually is and then executing the play. That is important. That, and that's not an easy thing to teach in four weeks, for, especially for a team who's never done that before. So. Um, that's what we were trying to get out of tonight, mostly is the game day mechanics. Tony Moore, the running back, he had a pretty good day, missing the century mark by a yard. Safety Jeremy McKnight, a JUCO transfer, he was credited with nine tackles in the first half. The Owls are now done for the spring. FAU won't be back on the field until fall camp begins. They open the season against Wagner. Bringing the story to OwlAccess.com, I'm Chuck King.